Today we're going to learn how to automate keyword research using Make.com and AI. Knowing what keywords your potential audiences are searching for online and how they express their needs gives you a competitive edge by allowing you to identify opportunities, understand market trends, and create highly targeted content for your audience. It cannot be overstated how important this is. If you were to do this manually, you'd have to hop over to your search engine, look up keywords, and then brainstorm some content ideas based off your desired keyword. That is going to take some time. But automating this process is a different story. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to fetch keywords and brainstorm content ideas all at once. The first thing we're going to do is add the Google Sheets module, and our action is going to be the watch row action. For our demonstration, we're going to be searching for relevant keywords for content ideas. So we'll be saving our keyword suggestions in Google Sheets and our automation will kick off the moment we add a new suggestion to our Google Sheets. Our second module is going to be the Dumpling AI module and our action is going to be the Get Google Autocomplete Action. This is the module that is going to help us find results for our keyword searches. For our search query, we're going to use our suggestions from Google Sheets. We want our results to be for the US, and we want our language to be English, so we'll use the language code EN. Our next module is going to be the Tools module, and this is a native make module that provides important functions for our scenario. The function we will be using for our scenario will be the Text Aggregator function. This function will allow us to merge all of the results from our Dumpling AI module. Our source module will be our Dumpling AI module. We're going to toggle the show additional settings option and select our row separator. For our demonstration, we want our row separator to be other with our separator being a comma. Our text is gonna be the value from our Dumpling AI module. We're going to add another Dumpling AI module, and our action is going to be the Generate AI Agent Completion action. Before we continue, let's hop on over to our Dumpling AI dashboard and create our AI agent from scratch. We'll give our agent a name and we'll give it a description. For our instructions, we've written down our prompt beforehand in Google Docs. And what our prompt is asking our agent to do is to process our aggregated results from our tools module, categorize them, and create content suggestions for them. This means that when our AI agent views our aggregated keyword suggestions, it's going to categorize these suggestions, and then it's going to create content suggestions for these categories. This is especially helpful if your desired keywords and industry has interesting verticals you'd also like to explore. Let's copy our agent ID and hop back over to Make to paste it in our Dumpling AI module. Our role is going to be the user role, and our content is going to be our text value from our text aggregator. Finally, we're going to add another Google Sheets module and our action will be the update a row action. We're going to select our spreadsheet from our previous Google Sheets module, but this time we want to update our row to include our AI agent's generated text. We're going to select our sheet and for our row number, we're going to map the row number from our previous Google Sheets module. Finally, we're going to update the cell with our content ideas with the generated text from our AI agent. Before we run a demonstration, let's hop on over to Google Sheets to make sure our sheet is empty. Now 
Now, let's run the scenario and wait for the results. To recap, we're watching Google Sheets for new rows of keyword searches. We're running a Google autocomplete to get keyword suggestions from popular use. We're using a text aggregator to merge all of our results. We're using an AI agent to categorize our keyword suggestions and create content ideas based off those keyword suggestions. And we're going to save our generated text in the same Google Sheets. And as you can see, our scenario worked. With this automation, you can double down competitively on keyword searches and find out what your audience keyword searches says about them, but more importantly, about your business. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.